morning vlog. I am exhausted from yoga. Honestly, that was like my worst class ever. Um, I was just so exhausted and like I couldn't get my mask to be comfortable. So overall a mess, but um, now we're just headed home to get some breakfast. I made overnight oats yesterday, so I'll show you those. And breakfast must be had, so that's what's happening. All right, breakfast is made. So I just made this. Um, overnight oats which is chia seeds oats and I use quick oats so we'll see how that goes dairy free vanilla yogurt um, oatly and maple syrup and then I just put banana and blueberries on top so we'll see how this is I need a spoon. okay I'm trying the overnight oats It's like super thick. Mmm, it's really good. All right, Samantha just made lunch. What are you having? Ramen. Ramen on a plate. Looks really good. And then I'm having some leftover dinner from last night. So the falafel meatballs, chicken from our menu tasting, couscous and broccoli. Hello vlog, I'm on the way to school and um, I didn't vlog that much today but I have been writing a finals paper, my last one. Um, so that has been going well so far. I have some time tomorrow, so hopefully I'm able to finish it up then. But for now, on the way to class today, I've just been feeling super tired and like kind of out of it. Um, it was really hard to focus on writing my essays and obviously yoga was kind of terrible for me. So overall, just kind of a sleepy day and that's why I haven't been blogging a ton. Um, also not that much happened like mostly I was just in my bed writing my paper so nothing crazy but I'll try to get some footage at school and then tonight we're gonna make that Emily Mariko um curry so I'm really excited about that um and hopefully that turns out really well so um just this kind of last push into finals is hard to get a lot of you know exciting content but this weekend we're gonna do a lot of fun stuff so hopefully that vlog is a little bit better and more exciting but I really appreciate everyone who's watching this right now. I hope you're having a great day, a great December 8th, I guess. And now I have to scream because I'm in a tunnel. But um, yeah, it's also just been kind of gloomy. And so not the best for the vibes. And just, you know, kind of that last push through finals is never, you know, the best time of anyone's life. So <laughs> I am just feeling a little burnt out and excited for the break. But for now, we're going to class, and I will show you once we are there. I'm going to print out a finals paper um, that I actually already turned in a week ago, um, and I might actually end up getting that graded and turned back to me. Um, so that might happen today, and I might find out about my first finals grade. It's also possible that wouldn't happen today, so all kind of up in the air. But I will be in the library next, I believe, printing out my finals paper, and I just remembered I need to email my professor. So. That is what I am thinking about right now. Kind of all over the place to be honest. But yeah, now I am just driving to school. Oh, also I wanted to mention that I've been listening to The Dropout, which is a podcast about Elizabeth Holmes. And while I find it a little bit depressing and sad, um, the whole situation is just like so privileged. It's kind of nauseating. Um, I do think it's very interesting because it like happened all like right where, where I grew up. Um, so I grew up like 30 minutes from Stanford and then um, they also mentioned like Menlo Atherton area um, which is a place I was very close to growing up so it is exciting to kind of hear that in the news media I guess but um, I would recommend the podcast if you don't know anything about the story I've already watched the documentary so honestly kind of unnecessary and grueling details of like gross people but <laughs> um, it is interesting so that's what I've been listening to these past couple of days I just, yeah, I just got home 
And Xavier's ring came, yay! So now we get to see if it fits. And a lot of my mm -hmm. friends were saying it's bad luck, but we have to um, see if it fits. We have to see if it fits. So. It'd be really weird if it didn't fit on the wedding day. Oh yeah. Oh. Oh, it's beautiful. Can you see it in a ring box like this? Cause you think of girls in the ring box. Yeah, I think we're putting. Put it on, Kim. Put it on. Good. <gasps> oh my gosh, that's crazy. Okay, now we're making curry, and this is um, a sweet potato, regular potato, and onion, and carrots, and I'm also gonna add peas and corn, and we're gonna make it in this, and then this is water for rice, um, and I showed it in last one, but this is the curry that I'm making, and we're gonna do it with beef. But yeah, basically we're making beef curry, and um, I also wanted to say that I got an A on my first final. So that's very exciting. I was showing you my final in the last clip at school and I was showing um, the paper and I like always read it in this one section of that building. So I flipped through it and I got an A and I'm very happy and I have that professor again next semester. So that's very um, promising because I really like him um, and that's my clinical professor. So kind of like what I wanna do with social work anyway. So very positive vibes today. Definitely gave me some momentum to like finish up my finals papers, knowing that I did well. So overall, great day. Kind of started off really sleepy, but now Xavier's doing laundry. laundry. Look at our hamper, it's so cute. And um, he's gonna take that downstairs. And I'm gonna make curry, and then I'll show you whenever we're done. This is the curry and rice. Um, it doesn't look that cute, but it smells so good. And I was gonna cut scallions for the top, but I'm just too anxious to eat it so it's clearly very warm but we're gonna watch succession no hacks hacks so that's what's up all right it's advent calendar time ready yeah yeah it's eight the eighth i see it i'm gonna do it correctly this time Ooh. oh yeah it's, it's like m and it's a sour jelly bean oh sour not jelly excited beans. about those Sour cherry and sour apple. Okay, we're gonna eat our stars instead. All right, the qu Christmas question of the day is, what's the best present you ever received? That has to be a material good, it's not like emotional. Oh. Can I say bubbles? Oh yeah, that's so cute. That's the first my cat. cat. My giant fat cat that I've had since I was in middle school. Mubby. Definitely Mubby. She's like 14 now. Um. My best gift is Cheers. I feel like I just want chocolate. You gotta think of your best gift, or this is gonna be like a three it's minute filming. Could you, ending. Could you get this off? Um, my best gift was I don't know. One time I got a pogo stick. That was kind of cool. Cool. Okay. All right. Bye. Bye. Good night.